how did you, um, one, get to meet those characters, and two, how did you gain their trust for them to open up as much as they did to you? Uh, well, documentary filmmaking is very much casting for characters to help tell the story. So I was looking around for who is really at the forefront of documenting what happened in the past in order to bring justice in the present. And that was when I found the people who were doing the very hard work in Guatemala, in the United States, in Spain, to try to, and to join forces to try to bring the perpetrators to account for the genocide in Guatemala. And of course, Rigoberta Menchu, she appears in Granito, and she was the storyteller in When the Mountains Tremble. She was 22 years old, and she was living in exile. I met her, and I had actually filmed the whole film, When the Mountains Tremble. But there was no thread that would hold all the different stories together. It was my first film, and I was trying to figure out how to make it, how to tell the story, how to stay safe in time of war. And when I met her, she became the storyteller. And of course, I wanted to her to appear also in Granito. I think one of the most astonishing characters in Granito is Alejandra Garcia. She's 26 years old. Her father was disappeared when she was two years old. I was trying to find a young person who was carrying on the legacy of, of the search for justice. And I met her, and I was immediately taken by her. And I said, she has to be in the film. I think what's different about Skylight Pictures films, our films, is that we never use experts to help us tell the story. You can be an expert, but you have to be a player. So you can be a um, international lawyer, but you have to be trying the case in the film. We never photograph people in front of a bookcase who are observing the situation. You have to be an active player. And that actually makes the documentary form itself more active. 